Hey guys, I'm back. I am so happy to be here. I feel great. Guys, before I get started, I want to tell you a couple of videos ago, I told you that my beautiful family gave me a beautiful apron that said Brandis Kitchen on it. It really was not them. I just found out the day after. It was my beautiful friend, Michelle. Michelle and I have been friends for about, man, over 20 years, I'm sure. She was a beautiful person when we met, and she is equally beautiful now. Michelle, I love you, and thank you so much. I felt so wonderful, and I knew somebody out there loved me when I received that gift. Thank you so much, baby. I love you so much. Okay, for everyone else, I am ready to cook you a wonderful suggestion today for a party. Party, uh, baby shower, wedding shower, whatever you're having. I have two things to show you that you can serve for those festive occasions. I'm ready to show it to you. Before we get started, don't forget to comment, like, and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe. I am ready and let's get started. Welcome to Brandon's Kitchen. Guys, today we are going to do two party things, or I'm calling it party things, but it's any kind of little celebration or little gathering you may have. I am going to do uh, chicken stuffed mushrooms for you today, and I'm going to do pink fluff. I'll tell you what pink fluff is. It's just a little dessert, and it has uh, cherries in it and whipped cream. That's the whole, the base of it or the foundation of it if you will you just add a couple more little things to it it's quick it's easy it takes almost no effort to make so we are going to make that tonight and i'm going to show you those stuffed mushroom caps i'll be right back okay guys i'm ready now i told you this these two things we're showing that i'm showing you tonight the pink fluff and the mushroom caps this is so easy if you have a party starting at six you could probably do these at five and have plenty of time to get started. So I'm going to put the camera down and let you see what we have here. And guys, all this is over here, I'm just going to tell you about everything. This is our mushroom caps. All I did, guys, I had these really big mushrooms. So all I did is I just kind of cleaned them off real good and I just sat them in my pan. In the bottom of this pan, there's just a little bit of olive oil and I just kind of, you know, spread it around the whole bottom of the pan. I have these are just regular white mushrooms and these are the baby portobellos. And I did the same thing, washed them up, dried them real good and I just sat them in the pan. This is just a little bit of olive oil. This is our sour cream. These are our real bacon bits. And guys, I bought these, but if you want to just fry up a couple of pieces of bacon and chop them, feel free. Just as wonderful. This is canned chicken, you guys. Just canned chicken breast. Again, if you want to actually bake a couple of pieces of chicken and chop it to put in here, that's great. But this is more than sufficient for what we need. And this is some Parmesan cheese. And we have our mozzarella provolone mix. Okay, guys. I told you this is a really simple recipe. This is a really simple thing to do. All we're gonna do is just mix everything up, stuff our mushrooms, and pop them in our oven. My oven is back there preheating at 350 degrees. We'll leave it in there just until everything is kind of melted together. Everything has married and the cheese is melted. Then we'll take it out and you know we're gonna taste it, of course. Okay, I'm gonna put this down so you can see me get this all mixed up. Guys, and I didn't, I failed to mention this. This is Philadelphia cream cheese in here. I did not say that right. Philia, Philadelphia cream cheese. Oh, you would think that I could talk. Okay, guys, I'm going to grab my wire whisk here. And I'm just going to give our cream cheese just a little mix going in. And we are going to add our chicken in there first. And guys, this was just, I did not look at the can to see, but this is just a regular size can of chicken. It's a little bit bigger than that can of tuna, but I did not look to see what it is, but they all come the same. So just one can of chicken breast, and we are going to get in our sour cream. Now guys, this thing holds like three-fourths of a cup of sour cream, just a little bit less than that. So I'm going to assume this is a half a cup of sour cream. And guys, this is just so everything can get nice and combined, and that sour cream blends a beautiful little flavor to this. And we are going to add, I'm going to grab a paper towel, guys. Sorry. Thanks. Okay, we're going to add some bacon bits. Guys, again, this is a cup and a half. This bowl holds a cup and a half. So I'm going to assume this is about three-fourths cups of bacon bits. I'm only going to put a little bit of this in here, just a bit for right now. And if we need to add, you know me, if we need to add more, we'll go back and put more in. But just about that much. I pretty much put all of that in there, but we're just going to see what it looks like. And we're going to add our Parmesan cheese. And guys, I'm going to leave a little bit of Parmesan cheese in here just to sprinkle over the top. Okay, so we're going to smash this all together, guys. 
I am going to get rid of my wire whisk. It's still in all my sour cream. All right, let's put this over here. Let's grab our real spoon and let's just get this mixed up, guys. That is it. I told you this is a very simple recipe that is so delicious you don't you won't even realize it only took just a five minutes really to mix all this together and put it together. It is so delicious, so wonderful and flavorful when it's together. And guys, I'm gonna grab my little container here and I am going to go in our Holy Trinity. You know we use this every time, but just a little bit of pepper that looks at about like a teaspoon of pepper. I am going to get a tablespoon of chives. And guys, just a pinch of salt because I tasted this chicken prior to mixing this. It doesn't have any salt in it. So we want a little salt to taste. We know that salt enhances the flavor of everything. And we want all those beautiful flavors in there to shine. So a little bit of salt. So let's just get that all mixed in, everything incorporated. Uh, you know I'm going to say it. You know it. This smells amazing. You knew that. So just... It's okay. It's all right. We knew it was coming. All right. And guys, that is it. There is nothing else to do to that. That is it. So we are going to grab our spoon here and we're just going to pick up our mushroom caps and just kind of fill the opening here with some of this wonderful chicken and bacon uh, mixture. Look at that. And that's just the cutest thing ever. And guys, I'm going to try to not be stingy with this. I want to, I want every cap to have a good amount of that beautiful filling in there that we made. And I'm going to fill these big ones first, you guys, because they are going to take the most of our little filling here. And then the little ones. And guys, you don't even have to fill those little ones, truth be told. If push comes to shove and we run out of this little filling here, we can just layer a little bit on top of it. That's a lot. Just a little bit on top of it and call it a day. Okay. We have two more. Let's get this beautiful filling inside here. Look at that. And guys, if nothing else, is that not the cutest little thing? A little filled mushroom cap. Beautiful as usual. And this is our last big guy here. There you have it. All right, guys, so we have filled our beautiful mushroom caps, and I'm going to uh, go off camera and fill these little ones for you. When I come back, I'm going to show you what it looks like before I pop it in the oven, and we will be ready to get started on our pink fluff. I'm excited. I'm ready. Okay, give me a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, look at these beautiful mushrooms, okay? I just want you to see what they look like before I put them in the oven. Check them out. Ah, look at that wonderful goodness. I sprinkled some olive oil on there, you guys. I put some of my chives on there, you knew that. And I put a little bit of that uh, remaining bacon bits that we had left on there. Ah, that is going to be amazing, guys. And this, guys, I said it was a party food, but you can do this with anything. You can put this as a side dish. You can put it as an appetizer before your real meal. The sky is the limit. You can do whatever you want with it. So I'm going to put this in the oven. I think I told you that the oven was preheating to 350. I'm just going to let it cook until the cheese melts and those mushrooms kind of wilt down just a little bit and, you know, get a bit cooked and everything. So about 10, 15 minutes. I'll tell you when I come back how long they had to stay in there. I'll be right back. Okay, it is time to get started on that beautiful pink fluff I told you about. You're going to love this. It's really delicious. Okay, I'm going to put the camera down, guys. And what we have here, and again, another simple recipe that don't doesn't take any effort to make. This is our uh, Philadelphia cream cheese. And I guess, guys, I had to guess this is about eight ounces. I have a 20-ounce can of crushed pineapples. This is a 21-ounce can of uh, cherry pie filling. These are some chopped pecans, and guys, they were pecan halves, but I chopped them into smaller pieces. I don't guess it matters if you want to leave them whole, but I just want little pieces in there. This is powdered sugar, and guys, I'm going to use this to taste. I'm not sure how much I'm going to add just yet. I'm going to season my, um, I'm going to put some into the sour cream and the whipped cream, and when it's to my, my liking or how sweet I want it, I'll stop. And our whipping cream, or whipped cream, that's it. 
This is all that goes into this. It is wonderful. So let's get started. And guys, I'm going to grab my measuring spoons here. And I'm not quite sure. I've done this in the past and I don't know. I probably need more than a measuring spoon. But I think what I'm going to do is start with about five cups of uh, powdered sugar. I'm sorry. Did I say five cups? That's not right. Five tablespoons. And I'm going to do five te heaping tablespoons because the cream cheese itself is not sweet. So we want it sweet. This is a dessert and we want it to be, we want it to be yummy and delicious. In addition to refreshing, we don't want it overly sweet. We just want it sweet enough to where we know it's a delicious dessert. And guys, just going to mix that in just a little bit. I left my cream cheese out for a minute just to make sure it was soft enough for me to handle when it came down to working with this. And I think it is just fine. And guys, I am going to grab a spoon here. And I am going to incorporate those crushed pineapples. Again, guys, this is extremely easy. And guys, I told you this was a 20 ounce can. I am going to start with about half of this can. Just to be sure, because we don't want it. You know, this is supposed to be light and creamy. So we don't want it watery. You know, we don't want it to look like a soup or anything. We actually want it to look like a nice fluffy little pudding. And we are going to fold our beautiful whipped cream in there just to see. All right, that looks amazing. You know, I can just eat that, you know, just like that. I love fruit and cream, any kind, doesn't matter. Okay, just mix it up good so we can make sure we have that cream cheese incorporated and not too busy, not too big of a chunk in there. It, it can be a bit chunky, but you want it to dissolve. You don't want just a plain hunk of cream cheese in there. Okay, guys, we are going to add some of our fruit. I'm going to grab another spoon here. And we're going to add, and guys, I think I'm going to put the majority of these cherries, this cherry pie filling in, because it's pink fluff and it's actually pink because of the cherries. So I think I'm going to put the entire... 21 ounces of cherries in there because again that's what gives it gives it its beautiful pink color i'm gonna move this guy so y'all can see everything going on here and again you just mix that up uh, those pineapples and cherries they smell amazing absolutely amazing look at that so wonderful and beautiful That is lovely. Now, guys, that is all the sweetness that's going to go in here unless we add more sugar. So I am going to grab a spoon and I'm just going to give it a taste because I want to make sure if I need to add more powdered sugar, I want to add it now. So let's just dip the spoon in there and we're just going to give it a little taste to see if it's sweet like we like it. It's sweet. It's good. Okay. That's all I want to do. Just taste it. It is wonderful. I love it. It is delicious. I'm going to grab a paper towel. Hold on. All right. So, I'm going to put the camera back down. And we are going to add those wonderful chopped pecans in there. And guys, again, just give it a little stir around. This is a lot. I was trying to make just a bit, but it's a good bit of it. And once we add that whipped cream, it's really going to be a lot. Look at that. Now, doesn't that look beautiful? Of course it does. Ah, beautiful. And guys, if I'm done with this and I think it needs more pineapples, you know I'll add it. So let's go. Okay, one more spoon, guys. And I'm going to use my paddle this time, and I'm just going to grab some of this whipped cream out of there. The whipped cream is what is going to give us this nice pink, beautiful color and fluffiness. And guys, we're just going to fold it. We're just going to fold it in. And we're going to fold as much as we need in there until we reach the beautiful consistency that we are looking for. And guys, does that look, look wonderful and beautiful and creamy already? Can't wait. 
Now, even though this is just, these, this is what I'm calling party food, you know I'm going to eat this anyway. I'm going to taste it so you can get a full effect of what this tastes like. Look at that. So wonderful. Okay, guys. I am going to finish incorporating my whipped cream, and we are going to check on those mushrooms when I get back. Won't be long now, just a few more minutes. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we have our pink fluff already mixed up and decorated. I think I forgot to say to you guys, I'm making this for my daughter's baby shower tomorrow. We're having a baby shower for her at my sister's house tomorrow, so everybody's just bringing something, and this is what she specifically requested of me. So this is why this is here. So this is not in a decorative bowl. I'm going to put it down so you can see. I just put it in this little aluminum pan here because I'm going to transport it. So I'm going to put an aluminum lid over it, and it'll be ready for us to go tomorrow. But look at that. How cute, a little extra pineapple on the top, a little extra cherry on the top. And this is one that I made for me. How cute. And if this was, a, I was going to serve this at my house or if people were coming here, I would serve it in little containers like this. But because I have to transport it, I'm gonna serve it in that. So I'm going to show you what this tastes like momentarily. We have just a few more minutes for those beautiful mushrooms that we made. I will be right back. Look at this. That's all I want to say. Look at this. Beautiful stuffed mushrooms with our wonderful chicken, bacon, chives. Ugh, nice olive oil in there to get it all nice and creamy. Let me grab one of those so you can see how simply beautiful this is. Guys, I'm going to just get a little one. I'm not going to mess. I don't want to mess up my wonderful little presentation here but you know that provolone cheese is nice and stretchy look at that <sighs> look at that oh my word guys i wish you could smell this it is so amazing i really wish you could i am going to move this over so you can see and get a good look at that and guys don't laugh at my little one i told you i was making this for something so i can't just pig out on it but that's one of them the little portobello there I am going to cut into that guy. Wait a second. Hold on. Got to put the camera back up. Got to give praise to God, y'all. We wouldn't have a beautiful life like we do if it wasn't for him. Father, we come before you tonight, Lord, just saying thank you, Father. Thank you for being as gracious and as merciful to us as you always are. We love you, Lord, and we give you all the praise, all the honor, and the glory, Lord. We want to thank you for this food that you have allowed us to make tonight, Father. We want to thank you, Father, for allowing us to share it. Thank you, Lord. Again, all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory, Lord, is yours in your precious son's name. Amen. Okay. I can't wait. I just want to taste it. You know I'm so greedy. You know that. I'm going to let you see me cut it. Look at that. And you know I'm going to grab that little piece of cheese that's left over right there. I just want to taste that chicken in there. Ah, look at that. Look at this. This is your first bite. I put that cheese on top so I can't flip my fork over. Look at that. Ah, wonderful little chicken in there, bacon in there, all that wonderful yummy sour cream. Juicy, juicy portobello mushroom. Mm. 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 Tangy. Wonderful cheese in there, the chicken. I told you it needs that little bit of salt and pepper in there just to give it a little bit of enhance the flavors that we already have. Ah. Y'all, this is going to be wonderful tomorrow. I am telling you. And y'all. I have made stuffed mushrooms before. I tell you guys, um, divinity is wonderful. I promise you, I've made stuffed uh, uh, mushrooms a thousand times. Never thought to put cheese in it. Just this time is when I, just, did I say cheese? Chicken. Never thought to put chicken in it or bacon for that matter. Just came up with that tonight. Came up with it today. I knew I was going to make stuffed mushrooms. Didn't know what I was going to put in it. Just came up with it. That's it. That's God. His grace. Yeah. I'm sad to say, 
This is my last bite. I'm so upset. That is so savory, juicy mushrooms, tangy cheese, wonderful chicken. You, you need to make that. Oh my God, it is delicious. Anybody you serve this to any party, celebration, I don't care what it is. If you make that, you better make a bunch because it won't last. Okay, real quick guys, let me get a little sip of my lime water. That is always, y'all don't know how much of that I drink in a day. Probably a gallon. It's probably true. At any rate. Okay. Look at this. Our wonderful little pink fluff. Then we put our little cherry on top and our little uh, pineapple. How cute is that? Isn't that, you know, not only is this delicious to serve, how cute is that? I know. I know. Let's give it a shot, y'all. And I told you that whipped cream, look at that. Just wonderful fluffy goodness. Nuts, pineapples, cherries. I don't know about you. I love fruit and nuts together. Look at that. You know, that's a big bite. I'm going to get it anyway, but look at that. Mm. Cherries, pineapples, nuts. And you're wrong if you think I'm going to sit here and eat this whole bowl. Just ridiculous. This foolishness. I'm not going to do it. I'm just, I just want you to get the full effect of this. Here you go. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Once again, either one of these. Pink fluff with your cherries and your pineapples and your nuts. Beautiful stuffed mushrooms, chicken, bacon, cheese. You can't go wrong with either one of these. Try them both, but if you just choose one, you can't go wrong. They're both absolutely splendid. Last bite. Mmm. 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 That is so tangy and wonderful. I love to chew the nuts and the um, fruit together. Oh. <sighs> One more time. <sighs> now you can't tell me that was simple and easy and fun and delicious. I mean, <sighs> I, I'm not gonna say any more about this. Wonderful. Two little ideas, two little recipe ideas for you to try for your next function, be it a family dinner party, like I said, a bridal shower, baby shower, um, Christmas celebration, whatever. Whatever you're doing, you can make these two. Again, make a bunch of it because it's not going to last because it is absolutely marvelous. Thank you guys for tuning in with me today. I can't wait to show you more things. I hope you enjoyed this. I enjoyed making it and eating it. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you again for tuning in with me. I'll be back with more beautiful things. Don't forget to tune in. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys. I love you all. Thank you so much and I'll see you the next time. Bye.